Hey all of us here over here at TV, welcome! Check it out! Guess where we're at? Guess, guess! You got it, US Highway 66, Oatman Highway. But we are on a little mission today. I just got uh, my new Hero 9 uh, GoPro, brand new model. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna do a couple different mounts and see how it does on a rough road, filming into the sun, all kinds of good stuff. Looking forward to this. Today is Sunday, October 4th, about mid-morning. Temperatures are heating up pretty good. It's supposed to be in the mid-90s here. No wind. We'll fly the drone a little bit out here, too. There's a little rest area up here. We'll stop there, get set up, and get going. I absolutely love this drive. It's you, the old U.S. Historic uh, 66. You cut through over the mountain pass, Sick Greaves Pass. Drops you down in the old town, uh, Oatman. Perfect place to test the camera, because I'm not running uh, over like 40 miles an hour. 40, 50, and that's what you want. I'm actually going to mount the camera up top, outside and up top. You'll see. I'll show you. Alright, here we are. It's a little rest area. They got a storyboard. Check that out real quick. Best time to come out here is in the springtime when all the spring blooms go and the flowers, desert's all greened up. Right now it's kind of brown and yucky. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Let's check out storyboard real quick and then uh, maybe we'll launch a drone. If you've been uh, following me for a while, you've been here before with me. This is Historic Route 66. And this is one of the sections that's a real road. You can see we are there. It's about a 30, 40 mile stretch, it's 20 miles into Oatman. Okay, let's do this. Let's uh, launch a drone real quick. Up we go. Yeah, you can see how everything is browned out right now. Been a hot, hot summer here. The amount of mining, there's all kinds of old abandoned mines. Straight ahead, that's at uh, Cool Springs. It's a little touristy place. They have gifts and souvenirs, a uh, picnic area. It's a neat little stop. Kind of out in the middle of nothing here. <laughs> I guess it's been in a couple movies, too. We'll drive past it. You'll see it. See the wash there. Still a little bit of greenery. A little greenery in the desert. And there's people that live out here. There's quite a few homes. All right, well, let's circle around. And there you can see the air quality from the smoke still. We're still getting smoke out of California. Need a good heavy rain to get all that washed up. All right, let's get landed and we'll get on our way. Okay, here's the Hero 9, brand new camera. I mount it, see the adhesive mount right to the dash. That's removable. There it is, that's what I shoot with. Normally I have the GoPro Hero 8 mounted like this. But today we're using the 9. It has built-in stabilization. So it takes a bunch of the shake out. Let me show you, see the tint of the windshield and the reflection? Watch this see the color difference 
when you don't have the windshield involved. Then back through, there's the tent. So we're going to mount the camera on the outside, see how it looks. But you can see, sure see the difference there. Here's my magnetic mount. It's a pretty hefty magnet. Normally I mount the Hero 7 up there. But we're going to mount that 9. Here's the setup for a Hero 7. They got these uh, plastic cases. Here's the Hero 8. They got these, uh, they added these in the Hero 8 and Hero 9. So you don't need that plastic case. These GoPros I use extensively. I put hundreds and hundreds of hours on them of recording. I, uh, pretty much wear them out. Look at the size difference there between the 8 and the 9. Alright, let's get her mounted. Okay, I'm going to stick her right up there, right above the windshield. Looking good. That string is a tether line. I'll show you what I do with that in a second. All right, well, let's get going. Kick the camera on. Now the camera is connecting. I have the app on my phone. It's connecting here. And I pull the tether line in and watch this. I just raise the window up. And I shut the line right into the window. That way if the camera comes loose, it'll just swing down. I've never had one come loose yet, but that way it won't end up in a ditch somewhere. All right, hit the record. We're recording. Here we go. This is the Hero 9 mounted to the outside above the windshield of my Sprinter van. Let's see how she does. Here's that cool springs. Oh, they got new signs. See, they got like a little gift shop. I guess a couple movies were made here. A little picnic area. It's kind of a neat little stop. If you ever get a chance, do it. here we go now the only thing I can see is on the phone the colors look good when I edit this video as we'll really tell but this is uh, US 66 Oatman Highway we're filming it with a GoPro Hero 9 yay is a fun drive you know if you ask why I film through the windshield sometimes when you're on uh, doing higher speeds over 50 uh, if you ever hit it got a caught a rock it would take the camera out there's a lot of I'm gonna say negative but there's 
obstacles when you have the camera mounted outside like in town settings or low speed like this that's perfect gives you a bigger uh, perspective much clearer you're not going through the glass because even on my windshield I got rock chips nothing you can do about that constant cleaning of the windshield from bugs and all that too it's looking good so far This is probably one of the top questions I get, is how I film, what cameras I use, that kind of thing. So it's kind of neat. I'm going to test this uh, actually Tuesday. I have to go down south. We're going to go down to Quartzsite. I'm going to test this again going down through there. So for the next few videos, almost all of it will be shot with the Hero 9. Except if it's handheld, then I use the 8. Bathing from the dash and outside, we're going to use the 9 all week long. This is such a pretty drive through this uh, pass here. Can you imagine the history? I mean, this dates way, way back. This is way before the interstate, Interstate 40. This was it. Route 66. Here you go, got some picture takers. One leaves, one pulls in. <laughs> Can't blame them. I do the same. Well, enjoy the ride. I'll keep the camera rolling. Now we're really climbing. We're getting up closer to the top. I think from that Cool Springs to the top of the pass is, I'm guessing, like eight miles. Kind of sharp curves through here they don't recommend uh, big rigs coming through here anything over 40 feet once in a while though you'll see a big rig like right here here's a pretty good switchback We're getting closer. Look at them mountains. Isn't that neat? We're getting uh, closer. There's a place co up here called Schaefer's Pond. And it's a natural spring that comes out of the hillside. And someone uh, made a little pond. They put uh, goldfish in it. If you get a chance. Look at this guy. He's waiting for me. <laughs> he didn't trust me. Look at that view off to the right. Isn't that neat? Anyway, that uh, Schaefer's Pond, check out that video. Should be right straight ahead. Right in that hillside, straight ahead. Now, if you look closely, you'll see the stone stairway right there. 
that leads right up to that little pond. It's kind of neat. Someone spent a lot of time, they put a little metal plaque, and cemented it into the rock. Sure, check that video. All right, we're almost up top. Made it. I'm going to pull off, let a car go by. It is like 3,500 feet, somewhere around there. Sit grease past. Camera did good. Didn't overheat. Looking good. All right, we're going to head down to Oatman. But this big uh, parking area up here will stop. I'll launch a drone. We'll get a good aerial shot. Then we're going to head on down the hill. I'll just pull in right here. There's like a little memorial up on top of that hill there. A lot of picture taken here. Okay, let's take a look at it from the air. Up we go. That's looking down. Right there, that's looking down straight down towards Oatman, over towards California. You can see the mines. Those are active mines. They have mining operations. See the smoky haze looking out towards California. These hills could talk. There's been mining going on around here for hundreds of years. There's the road. There's the pass. That's looking back over Sit Greaves Pass, the road we just came up. This is the direction we're going to go. We're going to head right on down to Oatman. Look at the switchbacks. Pretty, pretty ride. People come up here all the time. Very popular road. All right, get landed. We'll get on the way. And the Hero 9 still mounted on uh, above the windshield on the outside. We're going to go on down Highway 66. It's probably about another eight, nine miles down to Oatman. don't like heights you might not like this road drops off pretty good just on this upper section then it flattens out once you get down a ways guy hauling his Jeep you see a ton of four-wheelers ATVs all kinds of trails matter of fact uh, we're gonna be bringing the dusty nugget up here later this fall do some exploring There's camping around here, a lot of mining trails. You gotta be careful, some of this is private land. Definitely private mines, mining claims. We're getting close. We're dropping fast, too. We're dropping down quick. We're at 3,500 feet up there. There's that active mine. 
You always see a bunch of cars and trucks parked there. You'll also see uh, fenced off areas. That's usually an old mine shaft that they fence off. Some of them are, have concrete slabs over them. Now right off to the right, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, there's a mine shaft that goes actually underneath the road that we just drove over. <laughs> but you can stop along the road, take all the pictures you want. Off to the left, see that concrete structure? That's a mine shaft there. All kinds of them all over. If you go hiking around here, be careful. But this is private land. I wouldn't recommend. Here's our headquarters for the mine. What's the sign say? 2.2 miles to Oatman. Yay. Hey, you need a car? Look at that thing. Oh, goodness. It's bumper to bumper traffic. When you come up here in the springtime for the spring bloom, the flowers are just blooming all through this valley here. There'll be hundreds of cars in a line trying to get pictures of it. getting closer to town I'm not gonna stop in town we'll drive through maybe check it out from the air Last time I drove through here, Oatman was pretty much closed down because of the virus. Be interested to see how it's doing now. Oh, here you go. Look at them. They're heading to town. <laughs> they want to go watch the tourist. Look at them guys, huh? Got to be careful on this road. They're all over the place. And they are well fed in this town. You can feed the burrows here. Made it. We are entering Oatman, Arizona. Mining and tourism. Huge here. Let's see, look at that old uh, wagon there. Let's see how our new camera picks up this. See all the old buildings. Look for the burrows. Wow, quite a few people. Oh, there's one. Someone loading up their car, blocking traffic. Looks like the shops are open. Nice. Some bikers. The old hotel. See the wagons on top of the roof there? Little store. Places to eat. There's a burrow. That's open. If you ever get a chance, if you're down in uh, the desert this winter, this is definitely a must do. It's not that far. We're not that far away from Havasu. Come out, see the burrows, visit the shops. Very scenic up here. Well, there's a little pull off right up here. I'm going to stop. We'll launch a drone, get an aerial shot of town. I'd say we did good 
the camera did good, did not overheat. I'd say it recorded well. I'm anxious to see what it looks like when I edit this video. Up we go. Look at the houses going up the wash here. All part of mining. There's old town that we just drove through. The pass we came down way up there. Oatman, Arizona. All kinds of trails out here you can take on the ATV. We're gonna do some exploring later this fall. Probably camp up here a night or two. Definitely be back. There you can see some of the mining operations that's gone on for decades, over a hundred years here, I bet. get landed keep on trucking Well, I'm heading down to Havasu, like I said, Tuesday. We're gonna head south down to Quartzite. I'm gonna be there for a few hours and get the heck out of there. Keep on trucking. The journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>